Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Let's Play. Was I? I honestly don't remember. I was. <laughs> it's been a couple days since I've recorded this. Do I say Let's Play? Welcome back to Let's Play. I don't know, but welcome back to uh, the Batman Telltale series, season one. We are finally starting episode two with part four. This makes no sense. This is the fourth part I've recorded. And this is, we're starting with episode two this time. So I think we're gonna go more into like the background and more into like what they're talking about with the whole Wayne family, like what they did. That like resulted in their murder. I, that's what that's what I'm guessing, and I'm actually kind of just going off that by like Bruce. I, I'm thinking. I'm pretty sure it's Bruce. You know, cowering against somebody. But let's go ahead and start. Also, I, I'm being stupid and currently uploading a video, so the game might be laggy. Stupid. Oh, they do it previously. Oh, that's great. I love that. Revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. I still say he looks like Jacksepticeye. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Will the we Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent Sully? campaign soliciting votes from I did Gotham's look it up actually. He family. is the voice of Sully from the Uncharted games. Like, Your father I actually love that. Ship. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. This is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? Ali here is Sully. I can't, like, I have a really hard time differentiating it's Sully and Falcone here. The Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. I'm also hoping that I sound a little louder. I've still, I'm still messing around with like the game audio, uh, so it's not so much louder than me. I do apologize for that. I do realize that I've sounded kind of quiet, still kind of messing around with stuff. I'd look, but again, I have a video uploading right now, so I can't really check on how I sound compared to the game, or otherwise I would. So... Yeah, I'm just hoping it sounds okay right now. Alright. Episode 2. Children of Arkham, is that what it had said earlier? Is that what this chapter is called? <sighs> oh no! I was already, I'm already right though. Don't have to do this. Oh, honey. I feel so bad for him. Poor baby. Oh. Alfred, I don't want to see you right now. I am very betrayed by Alfred. He didn't tell us anything. I about thought this. I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's also oh, public um, and messy. This can't Tell be true. Me, all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. Yeah, but you let me believe that there were. That my parents were the angels. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. 
The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. I don't know what to say to that. I don't like any of those options, so we're just gonna keep quiet. Okay. <laughs> Thomas was a good man in many ways, but he was not immune to temptation. Hill greased the wheels of politics, Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. You never you told me? That, and you never let on. You're behaving like I was part of the conspiracy. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. Oh. I hope I you, you forgive me. Gosh dang it, I can't stay angry. How could I hold uh, this Alfred. against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. I just... Alfred is so sweet. I find it this really is the hard first to stay time upset I've been with back him. here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known, too, too big. Yet there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe you that's wrong. detail? Not Sometimes detail? Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. <laughs> Actually, I can't state it when people Maybe pronounce it like that. I See, you just pronounced it correctly there, but you don't like. I remember it all in vivid detail. No, it's vivid detail. I want him standing here, right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. Ask him why. I ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. He says I'm mourning. I just want to know why he did it. He said anything about mourning. Just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave, just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. This is really cool. I'm just saying. times at that theater. How long did it play that? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Okay, like, sorry, I'm not meaning to quiet. I'm just like totally immersed. Okay, I'm like, don't get me wrong, my parents, I have no doubt, love me, but they would never go and watch a movie that I when wanted to exactly see however does many the times. Memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are 
considerable gaps in that recollection. You're just gonna have to remember them. Do I really want to know? No, I'm like, why am I looking so down? It's following where the cursor is looking. I don't know where I'm going. Ah. Father's blood all over him. <gasps> oh, right through the eye. There's no way he just leaves me. <gasps> oh, spoke too soon. Bruce, are you all right? It wasn't a mug. They were assassinated. And Colin Wine Falcone knows why. Ooh. <laughs> Broken memories. Oh my gosh, this is such a crap GC. <laughs> this is pathetic. Ah, oh, we need a better police station. Good God. Excuse you. But getting you in to see Falcone like this, I don't have to tell you hey, how many rules we're breaking. Peak Mohawk guy from wrong. the park. Always here for you. This could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. And I appreciate Look, I it. I get that, Harp, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. I, I just I feel so short. Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. It's this personal. is a personal matter, Harp. Please. Fine, fine, don't tell me. I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Oh, yeah. oh just all about the debate with Hill. Like, we finally put Valcone in his cage. I get the feeling uh, that's how Harvey is going to be. It's always going to come back to the debate. It's always going to oh, come I'm back sorry, to his running for mayor. What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. I was going to tell you. Sorry, Harvey, I was going to tell you. Would tell me what? Your friend here gave us a case that'll put Balcony away for life. A catalog of his entire criminal empire. Is that a fact? What? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox Is that like a request. bad he'll remember that, or a good he'll remember that? Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Isn't she Sorry, one of the Sergeant. cops that shot at me the other night, though? As Batman? We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. We're lucky well, to have him. Whoever he is behind that mask, I'd say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah. It's great to know he's out there watching over the city. I thought Harvey was against the Batman, though. All right, Falcone's Where did I see inside. That? You say what you got to say. Isn't we'll it in like here. one of the paper things, the, uh, that online newspaper that I was reading through? Oh. Okay, episode two. Clearly, like 
in case you guys missed it, this is episode two. You can tickle his feet. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> I doubt he would appreciate it. Oh, Children of Arkham. I was right. In case you guys missed it, this is the Children of Arkham episode. That's what it's called. Bruce Wayne. You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Sully was never married. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. Piss off the wrong guy? You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. <laughs> this is nothing. You should have seen me before I became boss. I'd show up all beat to hell. Your father had sewn me back together. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends, more like cousins. Until you hired Chill. You sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pup digging up a 20 year old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I'm I tried not to get family. through to dance party. I'm nothing like you. Maybe I should have spelled it out. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. We ran this city. <laughs> we ran this, this city on rock and roll. Morphine's on the side there. Oh. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Really? Uncle Carmine? I ought to, like, kill you just for that. Like. I need answers. I don't. So I can't hurt him. I need answers. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. You never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Yeah, but I'm not going to. Know the whole story. Exactly. I need answers. How Wipe that smug grin off face. What kind of son did Thomas? I'm not a make? murderer. I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. I think you got more of her in you, to tell the truth. Yeah. I honestly would do any three, so I'm just going to go with none. Care about people. Stay silent. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> what? She was the only one that ever had a hold on your father. Until you hired an assassin to kill them both. Wait, you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that now. What? I'm waiting for you in hell. Oh, she's been sucking on a blue popsicle. <sighs> she's got some blue lips. Something is not it's not right there. Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor. No one gets hit or out. Ah, no. He's just about to get to the good stuff. Uh, well, I need to get out of there. Not yet. You really gotta stop smoking, Jim. It's not good for your health. Shit. Hot your language. I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out sooner or later. Oh. Why would she 
do something like this. Chill, Harvey. We Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. Something was wrong with her. Know. I hardly recognized her when she burst Remember, in. She, did, she, she had blue lips. She was sucking on a home. blue popsicle. Oh, it's a disgrace. Clearly. Another officer gone Look broke. into the popsicle. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Ooh, Jim is pissed. Uh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are we still need to get our in we're investigating. Uh, let's usual. get the facts first. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. <sighs> the simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then I think is a district attorney. Facts, like how and why? Yeah, see, I think he would need those kind of that uh, kind of stuff. District, district attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Are we leaving the door open? Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Oh, okay, he's closing the door. <sighs> Alfred, Ooh. Falcone's been murdered. I still laugh that everything's purple God. themed. Like I so can't see Bruce having purple computer for anything I find. technology, but... Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Oh my god, the lights. <laughs> the light coming out of his phone is purple. Okay, well. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Okay, let's look at the, the blue popsicle stained lips. Her veins. Still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the result. Oh. Oh, she just magically wakes I? up right at that time. Mr. Wayne? Hi. What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. What do you remember? Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh God, Falcone! My blue popsicle wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I. It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then it just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I should have. Did you see anyone? They were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I, I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me, like a parent with a child. The voice. It was saying something about revolution. Oz. Cobblepot said something similar. Bruce and I, we have like, we're telepathic. We like think the same I'm so things. I'm sorry, <laughs> Lieutenant. I'm letting you down. We stalled Falcone's uh, wires for now. But new be popsicles. Back. How is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, I, 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 don't worry about that now. I found, I found needle marks. that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. You try and get no, more out of bring her. bring forensics in. Let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. 
I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? Sorry, Vicky, I can't talk to the press. Your lips are moving, words are coming out. You know <laughs> what I mean. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where'd you hear that? Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. Yeah. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I'm not. I can keep I'm your name out friends. of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something. I don't have happened. time for this. No deal. Just give me something to run with. Say nothing. See what that goes with. I get the feeling that's like nothing. Yeah, counts as nothing. Okay. <sighs> Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. No guilt tripping me. I see that smirk. You trying to guilt trip me. It's not gonna work. Oh no, it's not. It's not gonna work. Huh? No. No. I smell it just like the car. Oh. It can't start going down when I'm not off the platform yet. Either drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. No, don't throw it the up. Do I scan on It'll break something or ruin the all the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police justice. who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn he from He said him? we were family. Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. We oui. took the at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. We're out of control. With my this player. refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base I get the impulses. feeling that like this is going to be used on Alfred or on like someone close to us or even even us and like that will be used on us at some point. What, they were doing. what could the creators of such a drug like, possibly have in we're mind? We're going to get off with this. It's going to be fighting your wars is one thing. But Dragging others to fight them for you. Could create chaos. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses. The things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location.
Whose head? Jack Septic is real angry with someone. Skyline Club? Why? A Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Oh. doing it's all weird and folded. Ooh, what was that? Come on, come on, I know there's gotta be more around here. The man probably had millions in his sock drawer. If, if Falcone finds out I helped you, he'll kill me. My boss won't be doing much of anything. Ever again. This guy has like a short fuse, but then like he blows it all off and calms down really fast. Oh, we use the front door. You lot, come check out this office. That big blue guy, he's had like multiple blue popsicles. Like, look at that. He's just completely blue. Like, that's Let so many go. blue popsicles. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. But don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said, I let, said him go. let him go. You hear that, Rowling? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Hmm? <laughs> Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded Falcone. Pound on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admittedly, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me. You went I too know. far. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. But it's bloody well satisfying, isn't it? As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, what? If we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. I'm just gonna say quiet. I don't really know what to say to that. <laughs> Going to whole brooding thing must be exhausting. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. Who are you and your people? More blue popsicle guys? They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a cat woman problem to deal with. Okay. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> you wanna share some blue popsicles? Oh! <gasps> oh my god! I hit the wrong button! He doesn't want to share his popsicles. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Help if I hit the right buttons. This is stressing me out even more. Wow. Oh. 
Got away. Comfort. Track down Selena Kyle. No. I know right away. Uh, I don't like her. I'm sorry, like if you guys like Catwoman, like I don't I don't like her like at all. Like I used to be able to tolerate her, but I don't like her no, I, just, I can't anymore. I need to talk to you. Where where how do we get her number? And don't watch where you're going. <laughs> oh my gosh, is this like his uh casual clothes? White t shirt, hoodie, jeans, and some sneakers. <laughs> Stereotypical. People know who I am too. I'm not doing a good job at like hiding. Wait, oh, I can't go. I can't go that way. Nope. This isn't the first way. Oh, tunes for drinking, dancing, and fighting. Not necessarily in that order. See here? The cops raided his house. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Uh, I'm looking for uh, Yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lives here. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. You'd Stop be surprised. What I'm hey. Don't I know you? Not it personally. Is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course. You're not really the low-lying type. Nice to meet you. Uh, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. You're uh, shorter than I thought you would be. <laughs> <laughs> that smirk Man's falls right off. Have a quiet drink. Oh, oh, space. You didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. You know, back off, Frank. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You wish. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. You're That's in serious danger. You. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. You've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw... the penguin. <laughs> I didn't it's screw you over. you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. We grew I up grew together. Up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics. You two have a lot in common. Ha ha. Like <laughs> Bruce the clearly doesn't is, appreciate it. Why Gotham? Humor. Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. He Some thinks he's changing thing. the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. He'll find you. Penguin is everything you say. There's no tree high enough for you to climb. He will find you. So what are you suggesting? The bat helps the cat. And the cat helps the bat. Bruce. Sweetie. Don't call the me that. Right thing. It really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together. So? I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Well, that's all this would be, so I guess he'd have to Harvey get used that. to it. I thought you, you were and dating. Harvey, it's pretty clear you aren't just friends. Please. I'm just toying with him. I, I only take my claws out for someone special. I hope you don't mean me. You and I are nothing. 
<laughs> Nothing more than a quick. I I tolerate your existence. <laughs> oh. Penguins, guys. Silvers, you were right. Selena Kyle. Penguin says hello. Hello. What's with all of like having a bunch of your head shaved? If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Punch him! Do it! Get him, Bruce! <laughs> yeah! Bad ass. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so remember in the first part when I was talking about the cursing and how something might just slip? Normally it's when I'm annoyed. That totally just slipped. I'm real sorry about that. I didn't even, <laughs> didn't even think. I just, yep. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. Pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> sorry. Button is which? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, I'm not moving fast enough. Not done yet. Give it to him. Oh, my gosh, these guys just keep getting up. They're wanting more real bad. Teaming up with her. <laughs> like I can't tell you actually how like upset this makes me just because I don't like her. For such a pretty boy. I, just, I don't want him. No, pretty boy is what we call Spencer Reed from Criminal Minds. I mean, I agree. Bruce is all he's pretty easy on the eyes, but come on, this way. Why do you care? Bruce, don't encourage it. Oh, too close. Hey, pause off. Cat, back no, away. Yeah. We should go. Back away. I'm not interested. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Stay out of Just trouble. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> now, where's the fun in that? You shouldn't trust me, you know. Who says I do? Bye. Don't look so, you I'll know. Put uploading the contents of a smartphone to the <laughs> computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. 
We're just gonna sit in the alleyway and do this. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? The, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very okay. shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, Find it doesn't else? sound good. I should have guessed. What else is Oh! It drives like itself. It's practically Kit. If Hill's I'm talking from Rider, Rider, he must like know the something. best show ever. It's time I paid him That and Criminal Minds. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. So he goes Bruce. Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. See, I think we can depend on the guile. I think that would be the better idea. We're gonna go as Bruce. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. Okay, so I'm actually going to end this part here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Again, I'll keep working with the whole audio thing. Hopefully it gets better. We'll have to see. So, yeah. Thank you guys. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.